أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العيد الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear viewers, welcome to Ahlan Bayt TV's show Today where we are discussing gratitude and thankfulness As believing Muslims, we know that the act of gratitude and thankfulness holds high regard in the religion of Islam We know through the lives of the Ahlan Bayt والسلام, and the infallibles that Allah has sent to us that the act of gratitude and thankfulness is something which we look to try and implement into our daily lives as much as we can. But in the 21st century world, it sometimes becomes overlooked. Sometimes we forget to be thankful. Sometimes we forget to show our gratefulness towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And occasionally when times are going well and our lives are working out well for us, we may forget to thank Allah for all the bounties He has bestowed upon us. But inshallah, I'm joined by the respected Sheikh Muhammad Ali Shomali, thank you so much for being here, Sheikh. My it's pleasure. an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Um, Sheikh, just to kind of introduce the discussion and, and, and to touch on it from a surface-based level, what does it mean to be thankful in the religion of Islam? Of course, not just within the religion, but even outside the religion, people of all backgrounds, cultures, faith. From a young age, we are taught to be grateful and thankful. Why is it so important to show this attribute? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa alihi al-Tayyibin al-Tayyib Thankfulness is a universal value that all human beings regardless of their background would endorse and accept we understand by our conscience that we have to be grateful to those who bless us, mm. help us. Our uh, scholars actually say one reason why we should inquire about religion and study religion is because shukrul mun'ime wajib, because it's rationally necessary and obligatory to be grateful to the people who have blessed you. So of course, yeah. if my life, my health, my family, my friends, if they are given to me just as if, yeah. shouldn't I try to find out who has given me this and be grateful? Yeah. So I of have course. to find out yeah. who has yeah. given me this. You know, if uh, one day you go home and there is a parcel of gift yeah yes you try to find out who has sent this the gift curious. to you and yeah. thank so we have received lots of parcels of yeah. gifts from allah even Masha our allah. existence is a gift so we have Masha to allah. find out allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thank him so it's a rational duty is there any way perhaps we can we can't quantify of course the immense bounties and blessings that Allah yeah. has, has, has brought to our lives. As you said, our mere existence and the ability to recognize that Allah has given us yes. um, all of these blessings itself is a gift. Um, but if we were to say there is a particular gift or a particular element which we should be the most thankful for, what would that be? I think the greatest gift would be gift of being a believer in God, a person with moral consciousness mm. to be a true human being. These are great gifts because if we just have life or existence but without orientation, yeah. without morality, then it's not that much valuable actually. Yeah. It can become a Absolutely. burden. But if you have faith, if you have moral character, that's the main thing. Yes. And then everything else would start being, bearing fruits and being put in the right direction. So the very first thing is to have that most fundamental and underlying thing that makes other things also work to your benefit. Mm. Therefore, we think that the greatest gift for which we have to be grateful is that we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are 
devoted to him. Yes. We are obedient to him. That's yes. the greatest gift because that's the thing that puts us in the right direction and the yeah. right track. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Sheikh, many a time, as we mentioned in, in the introduction, when life is going well, alhamdulillah, if, if we are given wealth, we are given health, as you mentioned, we've got a strong faith, our community supports us. There are people who perhaps have less difficulties than others. And I know people at times, as a human character, we may overlook the bounties Allah has given us. We may forget to say thanks. Yes. How can we remind ourselves to say thanks? But more importantly, why is it so important to say thanks, both in times of difficulty mm -hmm. and ease? Yes. One of the things that we have to train ourselves is to be reflective. When you are reflective, when you are a person of thinking and pondering, you would not take things for granted. Okay. You know? Maybe, for example, uh, every day you see your mother makes everything ready. Yeah. Or, for example, you know, everything is going well. You have health, you wake up well. You have money, you have car, you have everything. But a person of contemplation would not take these things for granted and yes. think about each of them separately and thinks that how they have come to him or yes. her. Yes. How many, many people have failed to have them. How vulnerable we are, we may lose these things. You know, there are people that had everything but over a day or night mm -hmm because of war, because of, you know, uh, injustice, they, they, lose. they lose them, they lost them. So we have to be very appreciative of everything, never take anything for granted. Yeah. Even our own body, our own health, yeah. it's very important. And just look at the people who are ill, or if you have one day, you know, illness, even if you have, a, you know, pain in your teeth or here you realize how important it is to be healthy. Yeah. And health is not one blessing because there are thousands of different types of illness. Yes, so health true. is thousands of blessings. The absence of illness, yeah. Yes. So a believer should always try to be counting mm. all the blessings that he has received from God from or God. from people. Because we say, based on the teachings of uh, the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, that Man lam yashkur al -makhluq, lam yashkur al The Prophet said, whoever is not grateful towards the creatures is not grateful also towards Creator. You need to thank Allah and you need also to thank the people who have acted as a channel. Oh, I see. Through okay. them you receive the mercy of Allah. This is why, for example, in the Quran, being kind to parents is highly regarded and comes after Tawheed. Yeah. You have yes. to be kind and benevolent towards your parents because they have done great things for you. Your teachers, your wife, your husband, your, I don't know, in-laws, the people who have given you a job, the people who have given you respect, the people mm -hmm. who have given you friendship. Yes, yeah. These are the people that you have to be grateful. So, gratefulness is something that should be always our concern. And you know, it's a key also for success, whether in dunya or akhirah. In dunya, if people realize that you are grateful, then they will always try to give you more. Oh, I see. Because they see you are appreciative. Yes. You know, yeah. imagine, just, you know, think yourself. Imagine you are a teacher. Yeah. And you have one student who is not grateful. You know, you work hard to prepare for them, uh, you know, test, you know, yeah. I don't know homework, everything, you spend more time with them outside the classroom. One is always nagging and showing no respect and no appreciation. The other one is always grateful. 
he thanks you, he benefits from yeah. what you have prepared. Yeah. Which one you like more? The second one. Yeah. The second one. Yeah. If you are a manager and you have two employees, one is grateful, the other one is not grateful. Which one you promote? The grateful one. Yeah. Yes. So those who are grateful are loved by people and are loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sheikh, you mentioned about people who are thankful receiving more. Um, I, I'm sure there are viewers who are perhaps going through times of difficulty. Maybe, as you've mentioned, they may have lost some wealth or their health yes. may not be in a good condition or even their faith. They may be struggling spiritually. Um, can you give some words of advice to, to some believers who are struggling in different ways and, and how through being grateful they can benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yeah. If we are able to be thankful, actually that's the sign that Allah wants to give us more. Yeah. Because Quran says that if you are grateful, Allah is going to increase His blessings upon you. Mm. If you are grateful, I'm going to increase. Mm. Yeah. And we can understand from our hadith that Man shukr, ziyada. If you are given the tawfiq of being grateful, means you are going to be given more. Yes. So what is important is whenever things are not going as we wish, we are facing problems, challenges. We should not fail to be thankful for the other things that we have. Yes. This is actually very good for your psychological health and balance. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah. if you have one problem and stop appreciate hundred good things which are there, yeah. then you become depressed. Because one problem can make the whole can life the whole, for yeah. you a uh, disaster. Yes. But if you are able to see all the positive things which are there and be grateful, this gratefulness by itself gives you a power. Yeah to be strong enough to resist against despair and hopelessness, okay? So, a mu'min always should have patience and thankfulness together. Yes. Yeah. Patience with respect to the things which are difficult, yeah. which may involve some pain and suffering, but at the same time to be thankful for what you have and even if your understanding increases you would be thankful for your suffering because this suffering is leading to a greater good yes this is why we say in the months of rajab in one of the duas after salat allahumma inni as'aluka sabra shakirin lak oh allah i ask you the patience of those who are grateful mm. Or we say in, you know, sajda after ziyarat yeah. ashura, Allahumma laka alhamdu hamda shakirina laka ala musabihim. All the praise is due to you in the way that people who are grateful for their suffering yeah. praise you. You know, a good teacher knows that the homeworks that the, sorry, a good student knows that the homework that teacher gives will benefit. Will benefit, would be yeah. thankful, wouldn't complain Oh, we have very bad teacher yeah. because he spends his time preparing for us, you know, some tests. Yes. No, yeah. he says he's a great teacher. In the short term, it may seem difficult, but in the bigger picture, we, we benefit from yes. it. Or, for example, if you go, for example, to learn an art. Yeah. Yeah, your teacher, your master gives you lots of, you know, instructions, asks you to practice, you know, would correct you, may mark you, may sometimes say you have to repeat. But this is because he cares about Of it. course. Yeah. Otherwise, he would say, I don't bother about you. So, Sheikh, we, t we talk a lot about, we've, we've discussed what is gratefulness and thankfulness. Why do I need to be grateful? Even when can I be grateful when times are good and times are difficult? But I think the overarching question which I would like to ask you is, we understand the need to be gratefulness. Mm. But what other ways are there of saying thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala other than just Mm -hmm. saying it verbally or yes. in our sujood, is there any way we can demonstrate our thanks yeah. day to day? Yes. The minimum is to express it, say thank you. Yes. But that's the very minimum. 
the main thing is that you should be really in your mind and heart appreciative. You know, sometimes we say thank you, and actually this thank you is just a formality. Yeah. We don't really mean it. Or we say it and then we forget it. If you are really grateful, you will always feel in your heart that you are under great debt to that yes, person. Yes, of course. Yes. If someone has done something good for you 10 years ago, still you remember yes. and you want yes. to thank him. Yeah. And then in addition to this acknowledgement in the heart and mind is to use that blessing that you have been given in the way which is the best way of using that thing. For example, if someone gives you a pen, he knows, for example, you are a person who is uh, studying, gives you a pen, what does he expect from you? To use this pen for your study? Yes. Yeah? If, for example, your father realizes that, you know, your university is very far, for example, you, and, you know, buys for you a bicycle, for example, suppose. Yeah. Or says, you know, this is good for your health. You say thank you and you try to remember that, but you don't use it. Yeah. Or use it for something else against yes. the will of the person who gives you. So when we want to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the best shukr, the best gratitude is what we call a shukr al amali, practical mm. gratitude. And okay. that is to use that blessing in the best way. Yes, yes. In the way that Allah is pleased with. So, for example, Allah has given me a very good voice. Mm. Shall I use this voice for singing haram music or song? No. Or shall, shall I just waste it? No, Allah has given me talent, has given me a skill. Yes. So I've tried to find how I can use this gift in the way that would be most beneficial, most pleasing to Allah of subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course. This is real shukr. Of course. Um, Sheikh, now we talk about thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and ways in which we can say thanks to Allah. When it comes to other communities, other faiths, people yes. of other backgrounds, um, I personally feel it can build bridges. It can strengthen the fabric of our human society sure. by saying thanks, by showing gratitude, of course. Um, by expressing uh, compassion to one another with a smile on our faces, um, it can help. What are some ways in which us as Muslims, believers, can, can show our thanks to people of other faiths or even our, our compassion towards them? Yeah. You know, this is a human, value to be grateful yeah and also on top of that is an islamic value so we as human beings and we as muslims have to be always grateful to any person or any group that have had some favor upon yes. us who yes. have helped us so if a non-muslim has helped me has done something for me i have to be appreciative yes of course. It's not that we only thank the people who are Muslims or who are from our own, you know, school. Yes. Any person who has done something Some upon benefit, us, yeah. even it should go further, even should not be restricted to human beings. Okay. You know? Imagine there is an animal that you have been helped with, you know, for example, you know, Rasulullah was very much appreciative even about the camels that he was using. You know, for example, Rasulullah had a camel and when that camel died, Rasulullah buried the camel. Okay. It's a sign of loyalty and sign of gratitude because this camel was helping me. Yes. Yeah? Or for example, uh, with respect to environment, we have to be grateful to nature, not just consume and waste nature. Yeah. If there is a river next to our home, for example, we have to show our gratitude even to river, but yes. of course in the first place to the creator of this river. But of course. any object, 
that is helping us, you should appreciate. It's a very bad morality that we just try to use things and consume them and then throw them away when they are not useful. Yeah. Yeah. It's very bad. Yeah. A mu'min should be always loyal. Inshallah, maybe one time we talk about this quality of wafa, yes. loyalty. Absolutely. Anyone, anything that at one point has been helping you and useful for you, you should feel great debt forever towards that person or that thing. Sheikh, we've talked about uh, gratefulness and thankfulness. There's a lot of lessons we can learn. Are there any particular hadith or yes. stories we can look to, for examples, from the lives of the Ahlul Bayt or any of the Prophets? Yes. Uh, we have a very famous hadith from Amir al Salam, which is about being grateful to teachers. Okay. And the famous hadith is, Man allamani harfan faqad sayyarani abda. Whoever teaches me one letter has made me his servant. MashaAllah. So it means that I feel that I have to serve any person who teaches me even one thing. Yes. Yeah. In the essays of Imam Zain al Abidin on rights, Risalatul Hukuk, we find Imam Sadiq saying, Amma haqqu dhul ma'roof alayk the right of the people who have done something good for you. فَأَنْ تَشْكُرَهُ is to thank them. وَتَذْكُرَ مَعْرُوفَهُ and tell what they have done. Okay. Mention to them and maybe to other people. وَتُكْسِبَهُ الْمَقَالَةَ الْحَسَنَةَ and also try to speak in a positive way about them so that people also show respect yes, to them. Yes. وَتُخْلِسَ لَهُ الدُّعَاءَ فِي مَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَالَ And when it's only you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your private, not in front of him only, yeah. in private you pray for them. It's very important. فَإِذَا فَعَلْتَ ذَلِكْ كُنْتَ قَدْ شَكَرْتَهُ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً if you thank him in person, you try to mention his good qualities to other people, mm. but also in private you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless him, then you are a person who has been grateful in close and in public. Yes, of course, yeah. ثم إن قترت على مكافأته يوما كافيته and if a day comes that you are able to reciprocate, do something for him, also you would do. Should, yes. Don't say, you know, I thanked you and that's enough. <laughs> now, if you can do something for him, you must do and show in practice your gratitude. We have many hadiths, but uh, maybe I also read one hadith from Amir al-Mu'min in which he said, الشُّكْرُ أَعْظَمُ قَدْرًا مِنَ الْمَعْرُوفِ To be grateful is even better than doing good. لَأَنَّ الشُّكْرُ يَبْقَى وَالْمَعْرُوفُ يَفْنَى Because that good thing, someone gave you, for example, money. That money is going to finish. Okay. But your gratitude is going to remain. Okay, I see. So, that ma'roof, that good thing which has been given, can finish. But what remains is your gratitude and that person's act of oh, I see. ihsan and yes. benevolence. Well, yeah? So it's very important to be trying to be grateful and appreciative verbally in our heart, but also by using those blessings in the way that uh, would be best pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank okay. you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you very much.